So in the last video, uh, we talked about using uh, third-party libraries with uh, jar files directly. And so in Java, there are a couple ways to get third-party libraries in your code. And you want to use a library because it'll let you reuse people's code that they've written. Maybe it was an open source project and it's meant to be free, or perhaps it's something you paid for. It's some kind of proprietary uh, piece of code that you need to work on a project. Um, and there are a couple ways to do this. This video, I'm going to show you Maven. Um, the previous video, I showed you how to use jar files directly, and you have to download the jar file and import it them into the project manually. Um, Maven's actually going to be a little bit easier to use because all we have to do is do some XML, and um, it will let us go ahead and, and um, download stuff automatically through Maven instead of rather than downloading jar files um, ourselves and linking them into the project. So the library I'm going to show you is something called OKHTTP. OK it's an HTTP client, which just means it can make HTTP requests programmatically. It can do gets and posts just like your browser does, and um, it lets us write code to do this. And I've got this example code here. It calls this um, this Google Apps thing, and what it does is it tr it brings back the Google trending um, uh, trends that are currently going on. So uh, if we look at Google Trends, you can see um, we'll we'll get some idea of what we're going to see, but um, we'll come back to that in a little bit. But basically, we're going to go ahead and create a Maven project uh, while Google Trends is is loading here. Um, that looks like it's ready. But it's just going to be bringing back a bunch of search terms that are ranked and you'll see they'll have like a ranking on them and um, we'll be able to see that in a JSON format. So anyway, let's give that a shot. This is the library we're going to use by the way, OKHDP. Okay, it's made by Square. So let's go ahead and create a project. I'll create a new project called um, uh, uh, OK HTTP Demo Maven. Uh, it'll be Java 8. And we're going to hit Next. And um, I'm going to hit Finish. Uh, actually, all I have to do is do uh, Configure and Convert to Maven Project. So I'm going to right click on that project configure and go to Maven project and this is this is actually setting um, up your project to be consumed as a Maven uh, project itself so you don't have to worry about this stuff for now if you're just trying to get this working just hit OK on the screen or finish okay so this is a wizard but actually what's behind this is the pom.xml file so this is just something Eclipse did to be nice so um, if we have dependencies, we can add them here, and we'll see that there are three parts of a dependency on Maven. Uh, you've got the group ID, you've got the artifact ID, and you've got the version. Um, we're going to add these manually in the wizard, but uh, you'll see in the XML we'll be able to just copy and paste this as well. So I'm going to take the group ID, this is the group ID, and we're going to throw it in here. And the art, the artifact ID is OK HTTP, and the version ID is 3.4.2, and I'm going to hit OK. So you'll see I've got that dependency listed in there now, and if we go to the XML, we'll see it got generated, and there's a list of dependencies, and that dependency is now loaded in here. And um, now that I hit save. It should have loaded my Maven dependencies. Yeah, it sure did. So as soon as I hit save, Maven went right out. You should have seen it down here in the corner. It went right out to Maven Central and downloaded these. And Maven Central is actually a um, it's a big uh, repository full of code that people have published, and um, it's open to the public. So if you want something that's private that you only want to share internally, you don't publish it to Maven Central. You'll get your own kind of internal dependency management system. But um, the the uh, the internal dependency management systems, they're like on-site, on-premise ones. 
uh, there's something called Artifactory. There's one that that um, it's uh, kind of expensive, so you're not going to use it unless you're part of a big organization. Um, these uh, Big Maven Central uh, libraries are all pretty much open source stuff that has been published by either Apache or other smaller organizations. But you can see there's a huge amount of Apache stuff here. Uh, we can look at um, Commons. So Commons is a pretty common Apache library. Let's see if we can get to the website here. Um, and like Logback is a logging framework. Uh, you'll see, maybe it's not, maybe I can't find it. We'll try commons.ling. Yeah, Apache Commons Lang should be in here somewhere. But they give you they give you a Maven link. So if I wanted to do this, I could just copy and paste this and throw it right in my dependencies list right here. And then if I hit save, it's gonna go out to Maven. See where it's doing that? It went right out to Maven and grabbed Commons Lang. So you can see there's all of this. Uh, this is actually just a utilities library. So if we go to the, uh, let's look at the documentation, the Java doc, um, we should be able to see some kind of code that we can use. Um, but it's actually that easy. You can just copy and paste your um, dependency in here. And Maven is smart enough to just go out and grab it from Maven Central. So yeah, we've got stuff like text, stuff like uh, um, tuple, time, math, all kinds of nice utilities in here that we can use. So anyway, let's go back. Let's run this demo. Uh, I have some demo code prepared. So we're just going to do new um, Java class. Uh, we'll call it um, OKHTTP OK runner and uh, do a public static void main. I hit finish here. Um, I have this code prepared already. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Um, so the thing is now I have to do the imports, but the code should already be in our uh, class path since we've got them imported into our project here. So if I just try to import, yep, that's the only one. A request, there should be a request under OKHTP, OK that looks like the right one. There should be a response. Yep, so we've got these in here now. Uh, there should be an IO exception right right there. So um, we're going to go ahead and right click and run as Java application. Um, looks like it's taking a while. There it is. All right. Uh, so there we go. Um, first term coming back is uh, Leonard Cohen, and that's because he, uh, I believe he died yesterday. Um, so these are all the trending terms on Google. Th you can see some Unicode here. That's probably either Chinese or um, some other language that doesn't have uh, um, ASCII representation. So um, there's one more thing that's kind of interesting here. In, in the other video, when we downloaded the jar file directly, we had to go and download a dependency too. So OKHTTP OK had a dependency called OKIO, OK and I had to manually add them both in. Now, Maven was smart enough to go find the dependency of my dependency. So if we look at the POM file, there's an uh, effective POM and um, or it would probably be better to look at dependency hierarchy. So you can see OKHTTP OK, is top level, and then underneath that is OKIO, OK, because OKHTTP OK, depends on the library OKIO. OK, and Maven is smart enough to figure that out. So it can go through, these are my direct dependencies, but it can go through and find if those dependencies have other dependencies, and it can resolve all of that stuff for us. Whereas if you're getting jar files in there yourself, you're going to have to do that all yourself. So ideally, you always want to use a, de a dependency manager um, 
So get in that habit as soon as you can. So anyway, that's my um, demo for Maven. Thanks for watching.